Okay, hello everybody, welcome to Unit 8. Uh, in Unit 8, what's your neighborhood like? That is the title of this unit. So it's very important, this word, neighborhood. Neighborhood is the place where you live. So neighborhood. So let's begin with the word power places. Uh, match the words in the definition, then practice asking the questions with a partner. So, what's a barbershop? What is a barbershop? Well, a barbershop is a place where you get a haircut. In the barbershop, you get a haircut. So, number one is the Right? D. So, number two, what's a laundromat? Who are you is a laundromat? Well, a laundromat is a place where you wash and dry clothes. Is correct? Wash and dry clothes? Yes, it's correct. A laundromat is a place when and you go there and you wash and dry your own clothes. Yeah, that's true. So, number three, library. Library is a place where you mm, borrow books. Library is, no, mm, is number three is G, borrow books. Somebody lend you uh, books. Okay, library. Number four, what's a stationary store? What is a stationary store? Well, a uh, stationary store is a place where you buy cars and paper. It's a place where you buy cars and paper. That's correct. Uh, what about travel agency? Agency. Well, a travel agency is a place where you make reservations for a trip travel agency number five with f make reservations for a trip and number six go grocery store what is a grocery store who are is well it's a place will you buy food i'm gonna buy some food where in the grocery store okay number seven theater so a theater is a place where you see a movie of course or play or male Julieta for example is a play Robin Hood is a play you know it's it's similar to a movie but it's it's uh, it's live yeah. Okay, so now let's listen to the conversation. I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. So remember the word neighborhood is the place. So neighbor is the, is the person, is the person, are the people, right? So let's listen this dialogue. Unit 8. What's your neighborhood like? Page 50. Exercise 2. Conversation. I'm your new neighbor. Listen and practice. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? All right, so I'm your new neighbor. Okay, so Jack is the new neighbor. So, excuse me. 
Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor. Jack, I just moved in. Oh yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Remember, a grocery store is a place where you can buy food. So, are there any around here? Around here is similar to near, near, around here, near here. Yes, there are some. So this is this is plural. There are singular. There is. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Remember, a laundromat is a place when you wash your clothes. Well, I think. There's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barbershop in the shopping center too. Very funny. A barbershop? Remember, a barbershop is a place when where you get, when you get a haircut, you know? So uh, the Mrs. Day say to Jack you look like a woman so you had you need a get you need a you need to get a haircut so it's very fun so here we have the grammar focus there is there are one and in some this this grammar is super easy it's very simple because there is is for singular one thing one thing one place one person but there are is plural two three four five things or many places so for example is there laundromat is only one laundromat so laundromat is uh, simple laundromat is no plural is is singular so laundromat is singular so is there a laundromat near here or you can say around here yes there is if the question used is so you have to answer is yes there is negative no there isn't okay so now uh, this question is plural are there any are there any grocery stores so grocery stores can be two three four five six grocery stores I don't know for that reason the grandma used are there plural are there one grocery store two grocery stores three grocery stores are there any grocery stores around here the answer yes there are of course there are because I ask with are there you change there are oh, no there aren't is negative no there aren't or you can say no there aren't any so we use some preposition on, next to, near, close, to, across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, or behind, between, on the corner, of. For example, in this picture, uh, in France Café is on Elm Street next to the Jamison Hotel All right First National Bank is next to Prince's grocery store okay for example First Avenue shopping center is behind the gas station behind or behind you can say behind behind is the same so now you have to write questions about these places 
in the neighborhood map below. So that's it for today. See you next time.